something's missing. For those of you wondering, that is not the Mustang. This is a F-150 XLT Sport Package with the FX4 Package. Long title, but uh, let me jump in the truck and we'll talk about it. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, yeah, as you'll notice, and you heard me say in the last video that I was going to be doing something with the Mustang, and uh, what that is, is traded in. It was not originally the plan to do that, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm, st I'm, I'm very sick right now, and I'm trying to get over this cold that I got, but before Christmas, actually, as I was making the other video you saw, well, about 2 a Sanctuaries, um, I was dropping the Mustang off to get the clutch put in it. It needed a clutch, 150,000 miles original clutch. Well, I get to the dealership, and offhanded, uh, we were talking about maybe trading it in because it was getting harder for me to drive a stick because of my legs and my nerve damage and uh, how tired I am from, and fatigued from driving a manual transmission plus the fact that I don't drive anymore much. I drive, you know, a little bit in town. That's about it. So I was like, hey, maybe I'll screw around and check some stuff out. And I saw a pretty cool vehicle on my buddy's dealership and uh, I went over there to take a look at it. And as I was standing there looking at some of the used vehicles, I turned my head and there was a deep scratch in the quarter panel on the Mustang. And I don't remember running into something. So then I looked a little bit farther up and there was a deep scratch in the door. Somebody keyed Thumper again. That pushed me over the edge. Uh, and I decided at that point, I'm done with that. No more. Uh, it's time for her to go. She's getting beat up too much. Somebody knows the car. Somebody knows me. Well, somebody doesn't like me and they're too big a wuss to come out and tell me to my face. So I'm not going to keep giving them the opportunity to wreck my car. So I decided to switch up the uh, switch up the whole thing and get a truck. Originally, I was going to get a Ford Edge, but I wound up not getting there in time to get it. It was an Edge Sport. If you know the Edges, you know that's a pretty cool little truck. So what I wound up getting was this, a 2016 F-150 XLT Sport Package FX4 with the 2.7 uh, EcoBoost. And I'll be doing a full video and review of the truck here. Uh, soon, but I wanted to at least just make a video and say, hey, uh, Mustang's gone. <clears throat> Got basically nothing for it, which I expected, 150K plus accidents on the record, been painted twice. I, I knew it was going to suck. So I'm out of that. I'm into this. This thing is an awesome truck. When it was new, it was a $50,000 truck, and I paid less than half of that, so that's good. So let's talk real quick on why I went with the F-150. I went with the F-150 because I know the platform, it was a very reasonable price, and the only RAM they had that I would have been interested in was a super plain Bighorn Edition. A little bit of an oxymoron. It had the 8-speed and it had the, uh, the bigger Uconnect screen, but it was a very plain vehicle, and I didn't want something that looked that Billy Basic. It had chrome bumpers, it had a dent in the rear bumper, so it, it was just, it wasn't appealing to me from a buyer's perspective. It looked very plain. And I looked at several other vehicles while I was there. I looked at a 2018 Edge Titanium, but it was a rental return, and it had some damage to the suspension that I wasn't about to tackle. I almost bought a 2013 King Ranch F-150, which honestly was my preferred first choice, but being a 2013, it was older than the Mustang, and the interest would have been almost twice as much, and that would have sucked. The payment would have been about the same, because uh, the price was about the same, but when you add an extra whatever percentage interest to your price, that's where you start seeing it suck. So I didn't want to do that, so I went ahead and killed that one, and we wound up settling on this one, and this is a very nice truck. Again, I'm going to do a full review on it, but it does have the 2.7 EcoBoost, which in my opinion, not just because I own it, but in my opinion, is the better EcoBoost engine, at least for in-town driving, because it spools up faster than the 3.5. So the reason I went with this particular truck was its mix of options. 
as you knew from the Mustang, as you knew, as you know from the Mustang, I went with a GT track pack, but no other real frills. It had a power seat and power windows and a uh, Bluetooth radio, but that was it. I didn't need a touchscreen. I didn't need the glass roof. I really wish I had bought the Recaros, but now in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't. But I want the right options in the right package to make it worth it to me. And that's what I was able to find with this truck because it is an XLT. So it's not your basic, basic XL that's been added to. It does have the FX4 package. So it's got skid plates, running boards, all that good stuff. It's got a tow package, max tow package for the 27. It has the sport appearance package, which gives it the body color stuff. And it has the bigger screen, it has the navigation, it has Bluetooth, it has all that stuff. It has the uh, six-speed automatic transmission because this is a 2016, not a 2018 or 19. And it's got so much room in here that you can go camping in the back because I also wanted a Super Crew. That was the other reason why I didn't get a 5-liter because the only 5-liters that were available, and there were some with the same trim, but they were extended cabs. And I didn't want the extended cab. I wanted the crew cab if I'm going to get a truck because the Ram, as you know, is a crew cab but the back seats are very close to the front seats it's not uncomfortable i've done trips to connecticut in it but this thing with the seat actually here let me show you but yeah as you can see there's a uh, so much room in this truck compared to a standard extended cab or your super cab whatever you want to call them and i wanted the more room and the seats fold up so when they're folded up you have a completely flat load for floor for you have a completely wet for floor and i uh i wanted that so like i said as you can see it does have some options it's not a super plain model i mean it's not a high 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 end model it's not a lariat it doesn't have heated leather seats or anything but i don't care about that it's got a power seat that's good it has lumbar that's good it has obviously cruise control it's got everything on it and again, you'll be seeing a full review on it, but I wanted to show you exactly how much room it had in there. I mean, you can just see based by the size of the door that, uh, yeah, this was a very comfortable ride all the way from Connecticut because we took it up to Connecticut for Christmas. But yeah, so that's the reason why I went with this truck over the Ram. As you can see, it's a good looking truck. It already has tinted windows. Uh, general manager's friend traded it in, so I got a good deal on it. And again, this was a $50,000 truck three years ago. It's not anymore, but uh, it was three years ago. It's got the nicer FX4 wheels, and I do have a tonneau cover coming for it. That's the only thing it really needs. It's got a WeatherTech mat in it, but once I put all that stuff on it, it'll be good to go. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, sorry if the quality jumps back and forth. It's because I'm using my Google Pixel 3a for the handheld shots, and I'm testing out a mount for the Canon Vixia R700 that I use. I always link to these down below. If you'd like to maybe use my Amazon affiliate links, that would be great because you'll help the channel grow as well as support me without having to actually just give me money. So buy what you would normally buy and a little kickback comes to me and it will allow me to keep making these videos. So that'll be cool. Otherwise, uh, yeah, look forward to the full review on this truck as well as I'm working out something with my buddy's dealership to possibly start reviewing cars again. If that does come to fruition, you will see those start appearing as well. And that will be awesome because I like checking out vehicles and the Ford lineup is very much redesigned for 2020. So put this back where it came from. So yeah, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, be much appreciated. And uh, as always, I'll talk to you later.